Today we are going to take you to the most popular tourist attraction of Jaipur, Amber Fort or Amer Fort. Hello everyone, my name is Shayo and you are watching our channel Epic Retro Duo. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for future updates. Amer Fort is around 11 km from Jaipur and the timings to visit is from 9 am to 5.30 pm. It is also the most popular tourist spot in Jaipur. So to beat the crowd rush, we started early from our hotel in our camp. On the way to Amber Fort, we passed through Jaipur enjoying the pink city architecture with an impromptu history lesson from our cab driver. It is said that in honor of visit from Prince Wells and Queen Victoria, Maharaja Ram Singh of Jaipur painted the whole town pink as it denotes the color of hospitality. This tradition, as we can see, has been sincerely followed by the residents of Jaipur. The palace is located on a hill overlooking a man-made lake called Mauta Lake. We reached the car parking from where we hiked till the main gate. It is an uphill road and there are options of elephant ride which is till 11 am and costs around 1100 INR one way. It is important to mention here for understanding the historical significance of the fort and also to have a smooth tour of the fort, you can opt for a tour guide. Amir Fort was constructed by Rajput Maharaja Man Singh the first and was added on by several other rulers. The fort was declared as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2013. This we can see is the palace gate which is almost 400 years old. For history buffs, Man Singh was brother to famous Jodhabai who was later married to Akbar, the Mughal emperor for a political alliance between the Rajputs and Mughal empire. The main entry is from Suraj Pole or Sun Gate. This leads to the courtyard or Jaleb Chowk. We booked our entry tickets here. From Jaleb Chowk, coming into the main palace grounds, here we can see Ganesh Pole or Ganesh Gate, which is the entry to the private palace of Maharaja or the kings and queens. In front of Ganesh Pole, we can see Diwani Am, where the king used to hold public meetings. The fort itself provides a clear picture of kings and queens lifestyle of that era. Brilliant technical advancements as well as the mixed architecture of Mughals and Rajputs. After entering through Ganesh Pole, we saw the Summer Palace, where the temperature was maintained by using open water channels which would control the flow of cold water and keep the palace cold. The Summer Palace and the Winter Palace are separated by a garden of perfect geometrical hexagonal shapes in the fashion of Mughal gardens. Next we visited the Shish Mahal or the Winter Palace. The architecture is incredible and way ahead of its time. The mirrors are in convex shape and used in such a way that the whole palace would glitter under a single candlelight. This also causes a heating effect which is why this is the winter palace. From here we can see the saffron garden which was attempt to grow saffron by a Maharaja in the 15th century however it was unsuccessful. Next we visited the fourth courtyard where all the royal women used to live. These are the queen's quarters. They are very interesting as well. All the queens had their different quarters and the king's quarter was secretly connected to all the queen's quarters separately allowing him to visit the queen of his choice without letting any of the others know. In the middle of the courtyard, there is also a meeting hall for all the queens. Our tour guide shot us an Instagram reel there in the meeting hall. There are parts of Amer Fort that are not open to public and need special access. Amir Fort is also connected to Jayagarh Fort through a subterranean tunnel which was supposed to be a war escape route. The beauty and the surroundings are breathtaking and will take days to cover. The best way to experience this is to plan a visit here. That's all from us for now. If you like